So we're on the Hamilton Bradford Rail Trail. Doesn't matter. It was raining this morning, so it looks like we've got the trail to ourselves. So this trail leads into the Dundas Conservation Area. To a million and one. Hmm? A million and one. Uh, Lucas got a a new used bike yesterday. We picked it up at some guy's house. It's a, a giant bike. Not giant, but it's like the brand. The brand name's Giant. 24 inch tires, quick shift gears. Hydraulic disc brakes. It's the bike frames uh, small, which I was worried whether that it would be okay or not. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna guess that the bike, his old bike, was uh, an extra small. So the bike, this bike, fits him pretty good. If he passes me, we'll take a look at it. Oh, what do you know? He's passing me. Yeah, so it's like blue and silver. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. So now the whole family's got newer bikes. I went bike riding with mom last night. I'm, I'm not sure if it's the shoes and pedals or the rain, but my feet keep slipping off the pedals. Oh. I think I forgot I have new shoes on. Well, not new shoes, different shoes than the normal. Yeah, those shoes, or those pedals on the bike, are metal, so they're like mine. So if you go to put your foot back on the pedal, if it slips really quick, and you hit your shin into the pedal, you're gonna get a little mark like I got. Like your mark? Yep. Right in the salt. He's playing with his gears right now because it's a different way of shifting than his old bike. His old bike, you, you shifted by turning on the handlebar grips. I'm not sure about the feet. It's weird, but it might be able to get used to it. Well, we've got like the bike, we've got the seat from your old bike, and we have the seat from my old bike. Or mom's old bike. Or, or mom's new bike. Yeah, the seat from mom's new bike. So yeah, we got lots of seats to go around. Yeah, uh, mom's faster now. I'm also faster. That's good, that way you can keep up with mom. I think I need to get, I don't know if I see. What is it? Oh, the trail.
Yeah, we came out of that side trail there. Oh, we are now being in Dundas Valley Conservation Area. Someone was telling me, a friend was telling me to, to get the conservation park pass. Lisa was telling me. Yeah, I saw it. And then I told her I don't really need it because I know all the areas around here to park for free and just bike in. I'm not sure how much the pass would be. A hundred, two hundred dollars. There's somebody. I can't believe it. It's a long, a long, boring bike ride in. But the good part is, on the way back, is the trail will take us right back to near the car again. No, it's like a, it's like a loop. Yeah, it loops us right back to the car. It must be continued going. Have we continued ever going on this trail or no? Have we what? Have we rode this trail further than what we normally do? Further, but we haven't gone too much further. Yeah, because I think this. Like you mean Hamilton Breaker? Yeah. The first time we went here, we went further. No, the second time, sorry. The second time we went the furthest because we didn't go on any of these. We went on just It's so boring trail. Sometimes it's good. Well, yeah. the, the good thing is there's no big uphill. Although we're going uphill right now. It's a slow uphill. No, it's gradual. I want to go see that falls. Sherman Falls. On the way here, we passed by a trail that you can't really take your bikes on. And I can see a falls. You'll need it for going up those hard hills. I can't. I can't. That's gear one. So maybe now you can get up those hills. Yeah. Maybe. Because even in that low gear, they're still pretty hard. Yeah, maybe not anymore. Oh, a biker coming. Oh yeah, yeah. On Heritage Trail. Yeah, here's the loop. I can finally 
Barney, I was trying to, uh, at the park last night, <laughs> I was trying to do a wheelie. I was not successful at my wheelie. I'd have to keep practicing it, but right now my uh, shoulder and neck are still sore. Definitely no wheelies. So. Even if they're better, I don't think you should do a wheelie. Dangerous. Dangerous. This is going five kilometers. Yes, we're at the five kilometer mark. I don't think we did. No. There's little markers we went like one and a half. along this trail. Like one, two, three, four, five. And I think they're for every kilometer, you'll see this marker. We just passed the one that said five. Five. Well, we saw a few people today. Yeah, we're about to hit the trail center. I'm not going to take any video of Spring Creek because we already got it. Also, I like each one of the videos. Oh, did you watch them all? Yeah. You watched them all? All of your videos. Oh. Are you the are you the person that give me a like? Did Daniel do? No, there's uh, on some of my other videos I got likes on some of them. If you see random YT, that was me. Who's the other guy? I don't know. He's a random person. Oh. And if you're watching random person hi. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear me. I'm always super quiet. <laughs> That's not really true. Except for that one or two videos. Lucas is a talker. A bit. There's the train. That train's right near the trail center. Canadian Pacific. Yeah, over near the trail center. Take a little stop here, so I can uh, take a little video. Wait, you're not recording or are you? Uh, I am recording. Uh, Ho hopefully not my shirt. That's the, that's the train, the train the trail yeah, center. It's a long time. I'm not sure if you're One of my first videos using the chest harness was a, I think a 20 minute, 21 minute video of me recording my shirt. Had it in selfie mode. He wants me to put it up onto YouTube.
Right at the trail center. Hey, that's it.